In this video, we're going to look at how to find an unknown within a sequence, within an arithmetic sequence specifically. So we have in this sequence 3k, k minus 2, and k plus 7. So let me rewrite that here. 3k, k minus 2, and k plus 7. And we know that the sequence is arithmetic. So in order to figure out k, what we can use here is the fact that the difference between each set of terms will always be the same. So the common difference will always be the same. So if we call the first term u1, the second term u2, and the third term u3, the difference between u2 and u1 will be the same as the difference between u3 and u2. So how do we use this? Well, we can actually write, write this down. k minus 2, which is our u2, minus 3k, which is our u1, is equal to k plus 7, which is our u3, minus u2, which is k minus 2. And notice that I put parentheses around all of my values because I didn't really want to think about changing anything, changing any signs in that first step. Now we can drop our parentheses, but we need to remember that that minus will affect all the terms that come after. So we have k minus 2, still the same because there was no minus before it, but now we have minus 3k equals k plus 7, the same, because there was no negative sign before it, but now we have minus k, so that sign switched, plus 2, and that sign also switched. Now we can put together our like terms on each side. So first the k's and then the numbers. So, ooh, okay, hold on, we have a little, all right, so first the k's and then the numbers. Okay. So on the left side, we have k minus 3k, which will give us negative 2k for our k's, minus 2 for our number. And on the right side, we have k minus k. Those cancel each other, but our numbers, we have 7 plus 2, and that will give us 9. All right, so let's get our number over to the right, or numbers over to the right, the case can stay to the left, so we can add 2 to both sides. And we get that negative 2k is equal to 11. Finally, we can divide both sides by negative 2, and we get that k is equal to negative 11 over 2. And just to be sure, I like to do a quick check. So I plugged in my negative 11 over 2 um, into k. And I found that the first term would have been negative 16.5. The second term would have been negative 7.5. And the third would have been 1.5. Which makes wonderful sense because now we have three terms with a common difference of 9. And that does make our sequence arithmetic, so I'm satisfied.